how do you use windows and how do you track them hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm talking about masks or the way they're called here windows but before we start we want to thank everybody that subscribed so far 450 pretty good number keep it going all right guys so let's first go to the windows tool it's located right over here. So by default, you have a few windows already created. You have the linear, the circle, the polygon, the curve, and the gradient. You simply click on the uh, logo, I guess, on the window. And this is how you can enable them or disable them. You can uh, enable highlights by Shift and H. This way, everything that is not going to be affected by your mask will be grayed out. And only thing that will be visible is what's within your window. Now, this brings me to these two buttons right here. The first one is the invert button. If it's selected, everything outside the mask will be affected by the effect or color correction that you're making. And this right here is the Windows control. So let's say we add another linear one and we enable the mask control. Let's make it something tiny and let's say you have something like an object or let's say a bird flies here. You can track it with another window so it's not visible or not affected by this first window. Now to delete a window, you simply select it and hit on delete. The default windows you cannot delete, but what you can do is let's say we've made some changes. What you can do is simply enable and disable them or reset them by clicking on these dots right here and reset selected windows. The linear you can move only from these corners or as a whole, but you cannot add any more points. You have a circle window which you cannot add points to as well, but if you wanted to, you could click on these three dots and convert to Bezier, which will pretty much make it like a polygon window. And so now you can add as many points as you'd like. You also have your polygon, which you can add as many points as you want by default. And you have your gradient and you also have the curve. Now, when you select the curve, you don't see any shape because you have to draw in your shape. There's a few shortcuts also that I would like to show you. With your first node selected, you can hit option C to take out a circle window. You can hit option Q for a linear window or option G for your polygon and option B for curve. I'm gonna hit option B and make a rough shape around this pond. With our shape drawn, we can make our changes. Let's go to the primaries and make it yellow. Let's go back into our mask. Here on the right, you have your transform and softness. Here you can change everything from the size to the opacity. As you can see, it's pretty useful. You can also do this from this uh, button here, like you can rotate or you can also use the pounding box by holding down shift and making this square and you can select all of your points. This way you can expand, you can rotate, like basically you can manipulate all of your points at once. The softness is the feathering. If I remove it, you can see it's pretty rough. So we would like to have a little bit of feathering. Anyways, so let's go into tracking. Now, if you wanna track your mask, you would have to go here in the tracker. Make sure that you're here in the window so you can track windows. Here you have your stabilizer and your effects, but these are separate tracking options. Right now we have to be over here. Now to start tracking, you can simply hit on this button here, which will track forwards and backwards. This button will track one frame backwards. This one will track all the way back. This will track all the way forward and this will track one frame forward. These basically tell the tracker what it can do when tracking. It can pan, it can tilt, it can zoom, it can rotate, it is in a 3D environment. So now when I hit to track forwards and backwards, you will see those individual lines. These are the data represented visually. So the tracking has been done and I think DaVinci did a pretty good job. These here are your keyframes. 
Now I wanted to show you something in here on this note. It says that you have done some tracking work. Something really important is that if we move this mask, what will happen? Will it disrupt the path of the animation or no? If I scrub through the timeline, you would see that the animation itself stays the same so it won't be like readjusting going back or and then skipping back or something like this because we are in clip mode the same path will stay but you can just place it somewhere else so this is really helpful if you don't have the whole thing visible or you have good enough contrast to track only a specific area but then you can expand your window or readjust it later if we go to frame mode this is where we can make individual adjustments so if i was to make an adjustment like this you would see that there's a new keyframe created and you can see that it moves so it can go to its place right here if i'm here and i readjust the keyframe this is also really helpful so you could be more precise with your selections now i wanted to delete this keyframe over here i cannot just select it right down here and hit delete what I have to do is hit on these three dots and delete keyframe. The other thing I wanted to show you is the cloud tracker versus the point tracker. By default, it starts with cloud tracker. Let me put the interactive mode. Now, if I zoom in, you would see all these individual tracking points. All of these, if I scroll, you would see they're moving. This is called the point cloud. These are all of the individual tracking points within your window. Now, if you have an object within your window that you wouldn't want to be tracked, you would select on this box and I could delete these tracking points or I could make another shape like this and add more tracking points. Okay, so let's go into the point tracker. Here we first add in a point, add another one and place it somewhere within your frame, somewhere where there's good contrast usually. So this way, if you have something like a boat here and the cloud tracker might have confused it and started tracking the boat instead of the whole pond, it would be easier using the point tracker and selecting individual points if you have one too many you just select the point that you want to delete and hit on this trash can if you come from let's say after effects you would want to have your path here as well so you can do this by hitting on these amazing three dots again and hitting on show track this right here is your track so if you go through the timeline you would see this little square and this is your track path. And this is pretty much it guys. This is how you track and how you use the windows. If you have any further questions, leave them down in the comments. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe, watch the other stuff on DaVinci Resolve, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.